Hi guys, welcome back to Cool Movie Ratings, and today we are going to be talking about Monster Mania 51. I went yesterday, I went on Saturday, October 1st, and I absolutely love this convention, and I've been to three this year, including this one. I've been to them consecutively, and I met five more celebrities, so let's get started, and I'll show you the stuff I got and the people who I met. So guys, the first person I met at this convention was Doug Bradley, Pinhead himself. So I don't think I really talked about this on the channel at all, but... Um, I actually really like the first Hellraiser. I've only seen the first Hellraiser, and I know he plays Pinhead in most of the movies. I think there was something, like, he got recast in the later ones, but I definitely want to watch those. But I absolutely love the first Pinhead. I got this really cool NECA figure, and I think that Pinhead is probably the coolest-looking villain in any horror movie because of his attire, and he's got nails sticking out of his head, which just looks crazy. And he signed to Jack, I'll tell your soul apart. Doug Bradley, and he signed with, like, a little nail, which I thought is really cool. Super nice guy. This was the first person I met in the day, and he's just a super cool guy. We talked about um, the famous lines from the movie, and he was actually at the previous Monster Mania, but I hadn't watched Hellraiser at that point yet, and so I was like, oh, but I saw he's coming back to this one, so I was like, great. So I met him at this one. Super cool guy. If you had the chance to meet Doug Bradley at a convention, I would totally recommend it, and yeah, Doug Bradley, super cool dude. So guys, next person I met was William Ragsdale from Fright Night. So I don't think I've ever talked about this on the channel because I just got into this movie about two weeks ago and I absolutely loved it. And um, William Ragsdale was gonna be there. I was like, I definitely have to meet him because I love Fright Night. He's the main character of the uh, two Fright Night movies, like the originals. And he signed to Jack, I Believe in Vampire, Will Ragsdale, Charlie. Super cool, I got this awesome poster for it. Bought this off a of vendor because this poster is just flat out amazing. I think I would probably have this in my room anyways, because look how cool this poster is. You've got, I'm pretty sure that's his girlfriend in the end, and just super cool. If you haven't seen Fright Night, I don't hear barely anyone talk about this anymore. It was just recommended on the horror um, tab of my TV, and my dad suggested it, and we watched it, and I absolutely loved it. I thought it was amazing, and um, I think it is currently becoming one of my favorite horror movies, and this is, like, the only actual vampire movie I've watched. I want to watch The Lost Boys, because I've heard that one's also great. So, yeah. Fright Night. William Ragsdale was super cool, and if you had the chance to meet him at a convention, he talked for a while with me, and super cool dude. I absolutely love Fright Night, and... Um, William Ragsdale, super cool guy. Like I said, if you have the chance, to um, definitely meet him at a convention. But yeah, Fright Night, super cool. And yeah, I still can't believe I met these people. Next up, I met two people from my favorite horror movie of all time, Halloween by John Carpenter. I cannot believe I met them. I met Annie, who is one of the main characters of Halloween, and I met Brackett, who is her father in the movie, and he's in um, Halloween Kills and the second one. I cannot believe I met two of these original Halloween actors, because Halloween is my all-time favorite horror movie, and this is what sold me to going to this convention. I was like, okay, these two people are going there. I cannot believe it. I'm definitely going. And they were super cool. Um, Nancy Loomis had a pretty long line, but totally worth it. She was super nice. And she signed, hey, Jack, speed kills. That's the most famous line you could see on the shirt. I actually got the shirt for the convention. It says, hey, jerk, speed kills. It's the three. Uh, and she actually said she liked the shirt, and I um, thought that was cool. But she's really cool. I would totally recommend meeting her at a convention because she's Annie from Halloween, which is just absolutely crazy. And then I met Charles Cyphers, who is Bracket. Um, super cool guy, and um, it was really cool to meet two people from my favorite horror movie of all time, and I actually saw a panel with them later. I can show some photos. I didn't record any of the panels I went to this time, but um, still pretty cool to see it, and their panel was awesome because they talked about Halloween, and they talked about John Carpenter and stuff. Amazing panel. If you can find a video of it online, I would totally recommend watching it because it is it was a great panel. And uh, I still can't believe I met two people from the original Halloween. And I hope I can add to this poster. And I absolutely love this poster, obviously. It's probably one of the best posters of all time. It is one of the best posters of all time. And I still can't believe I met Annie and Brackett from Halloween. And just super cool, super cool people. I would totally recommend meeting them at a convention. I, I, it still blows my mind that I got to meet people from my favorite horror movie of all time. So yeah. Then the last person I met was John Bernthal, Shane from The Walking Dead. Absolutely amazing guy. And 
Um, he plays Shane in The Walking Dead, and, like, he's, like, the main character besides Rick in season one and two, and I absolutely love Shane. He's one of my favorite characters, and just up until the end, um, he's actually, my dad put out, uh, said a good point. He's actually kind of logical, like, even though he is, like, the villain in season two, he is a little bit logical when it comes to, like, um, like, having to sacrifice people for the group, and it's really crazy but his acting is super great in season one and two and he was more recently in the show called we own the city which is about baltimore cops and if you didn't know i'm from around the baltimore area so it was really cool that he came to a baltimore convention because hunt valley is where it was hosted and hunt valley is like really close to baltimore and he was talking to most people about it and um it was pretty cool and we talked about we own the city a little bit because i've seen um episode one and he was talking about um, that with me, and then he suggested, like, The Wire, and he said, you have to get past, like, the first few episodes, and then it gets really good, and he asked me what I wanted to be when I grew up, and I said, a movie director, and he said, that's awesome, just get writing, and I thought that was super cool that he gave me advice for, like, my career, and, um, super definitely, um, amazing guy, I'm totally, <laughs> super definitely amazing, but, um, absolutely awesome guy if you have the chance to meet him at a convention it's totally worth it and he signed to jack and he did a signature and he said shane stay cool brother it's super cool and i'm so excited to get this framed and put up on my wall so yeah that was my experience at monster mania 51 if you have the chance to go to a monster mania i totally recommend it i went to the two in cherry hill before this and i went to the hunt valley one now and i absolutely loved going to all three and i totally recommend going to them at some point and so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this cool movie ratings video and i will see you guys later bye guys